The end of summer in Canada means one thing. We must prepare for and embrace the inevitability of winter. And what better way to do that than by hauling the snowmobile out of the garage and taking a spin across the open water. Welcome to the one event in Ontario not created by Tony Clement's giant slush fund, the Tilbury Puddle Jump. I'm joined by Lindsay Belanger, and he's the organizer of the Tilbury Puddle Jump. Hello, Lindsay, how are you? How you doing, Rick? Good to see you, sir. Me too. This seems, on paper, to be a completely bonkers event. It's outrageous. Really outrageous. You got guys and women on skidoo snowmobiles racing over open water. 450 feet of water. Now, this is, this is your car lot and your RV lot here, and you invite all these people here. Yes. And uh, you raise money for cystic fibrosis. Correct. Everyone comes out, and uh, the money goes to a good cause. It does. Now, how many times have you gone across this thing? Uh, probably 50 times. Right. Do you sometimes, if you're just tooling around, you just go, oh, I'm going to take the skidoo out and go for a whip? I'm wet right now. I just went down. Really? Yep. And you're the pro. I get that. Right. Yep. So it happens. It does. I'm not going down. I'm like, uh, I'm like George Chevala, man. I'm not going down. Okay, before we get the skidoos out in the water, we gotta get the four-wheelers out in the bog. Already, I'm ready for the mud, and look at this. Look what they gave me to head into the bog. But then, Paul from Rubber Down Customs came along and offered me this. <laughs> this is more me. So I went into this with no experience. I ended up humiliated and covered in mud. I feel like Michael Ignatieff. And this is Al Richardson. He's one of the big organizers of the Puddle Jump, and he's my man because he's provided me with the sled. Hello, Al. How are you? Good. How are you? Now, you built this sled. Yes, I did. Has this been sunk? No. No? Never been sunk? Never been sunk. But it's never really gone across the water, has it? No. No. OK, so I'm going to get on the skidoo. You're going to give me a bit of a lesson here on the grass. Yes. And it's nice and safe because the only thing that could be in the way is the 401. Is there a patron saint of skidooing on water? <laughs> All right, let's go get wet. Good run. Yeah, good run. I think she's flooded. I'm very nervous. Is that normal? Yes. Do you get nervous? I got butterflies right now. My so knees are knocking. So, so do I. Ever since this morning. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of adrenaline here. A lot of adrenaline. That's why we do it. You get a good adrenaline rush from it. My arms aren't shaking. It's actually the vibration. Oh, I think that's you shaking. Go, Rick. Go, Rick. Go, Rick. So if the nice man who sold us insurance on the show this year is watching, maybe now it's time to go get a sandwich. You cross the floor of the House of Commons. Yes! Oh, man. Oh. So what do I have to do next? Next time you go out, you're going to have two pylons out there that you have to maneuver around. Oh, stair? Yes. Right, we didn't cover that. No. No. <laughs> you 
you got to pull on the sled and get it. To... Okay, but I don't try to steer. No, you got to kind of. You got. If you want to go left, you got to steer right. You got to counter steer. Yeah. I love it. Like no one mentioned that. Do you use the skis at all? You just try a little bit. You try a little bit. Yeah. Have you done this before? No. <laughs> That went well. Yeah.